All right, so you can see here, we get this piece off first so that we can get to this seam. And all you do is just take a razor blade just like this and just be really careful not to get the actual fabric, but just to cut the thread. And you just want to get it started so that you can get under here when you peel it back and just cut it out like that. And when you pull on it, you can see it, it starts to pull the thread out right there and you can just cut it away real easy. You just want to give yourself a little bit of extra room to work with there, so <clears throat> go a little bit past the seam you're trying to uncover. And now that we're here, we can start undoing this whole seam right here. So one of the things that I like to do that helps hold it for me when I'm, when I'm pulling on this and cutting is I'll take one of these clamps and I'll just clamp this cover right down to the table like that, and then I can pull it give it a little tension so that when I'm cutting it makes it really easy. So just do the same thing and remember be really careful not to cut into the welting so that we can reuse that piece. And you don't have to worry so much about this piece right here because we're replacing that. So if that gets cut, that's okay. So you just wanna work your way down and just be really careful. All right, you can see now we're about as far as we need to go. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit farther so I can have enough room to sew this, make it easier when I sew it. So that's about all you need to do right there. And then you need to unsew this piece as well right here. And once you get through that lock stitch right there, it's usually a lot easier after that. You just want to be really careful not to cut it while you're trying to cut through that lock stitch. All right, and then we'll just unsew this piece right here and then we'll be good to go. All right, so the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is cut a new piece out, and we're gonna use the old one as a pattern, and we're just gonna uh, use a little bit of temp tack to hold it in place for us while we trace it out. So just uh, spray a little bit on there. You don't want too much, otherwise it gets kinda of nasty and sticky. And then just put it down on the new fabric, and we'll just take our pencil and we'll start tracing it out. 
And this is where you want to go ahead and <clears throat> add the alignment marks we made when we were cutting this pattern apart. So you want to go everywhere you made an alignment mark, like right here. You want to go ahead and put that on the new piece so you can transfer it over when you're sewing. And then after you're done with that, you can take it off and you want to go ahead and make these a little bit longer so that you don't cut them off so you can still see them when you cut this out and just smooth out anything else that you see that might cause an issue. And then after you do that, you just go ahead and cut it out. And then once you're doing that, after you're done cutting this out, <clears throat> what you want to do is make a little notch where all your alignments are. So all you have to do is just fold it right on your alignment mark right there and then just give it a little cut. And what it does is put that V there. So say if you're sewing a piece <clears throat> and it's straight up, that way you can see your your alignment marks while you're sewing rather than just the ones you marked on the back. So go ahead and do that all the way around and uh, we'll after that we're going to back it with foam <clears throat> so that it looks nice when we sew it up. Alright, so the next step is we're going to glue this to foam. Um, you want a little bit of foam on there so that it just looks nice and fills the cover. Uh, the stock piece had foam on it, so we're going to go ahead and put, this is just a piece of scrap headliner foam. It'll work fine for what we're doing here. So you just want to, again, use a little bit of temp tack to hold it in place. And then just fold it over like that. And on this piece, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the foam a little bit large, just like this. <clears throat> and then what we're going to do is we're going to come and sew along this edge right here. And then we'll come back and trim this foam off. So I'll show you how to do that next. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just sew this edge up right here so we can trim this foam off. <clears throat> and you really, all you want to do is just get like maybe an eighth inch in. You really don't, you want to get as close to the edge as you can. Alright, so once you're done doing that, <clears throat> then you just take your scissors and you cut the foam off. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that your, 
you got your scissors curved in a little bit so what it does is kind of taper the foam back because what you don't want is there to be if you go that direction there'll be foam sticking out past your material so you can see how when you cut that off it makes a real nice edge right there Let's just go ahead and finish doing that